let's talk about self-improvement and clarity for a second. This is really important what I'm going to say in this video. And it pertains to all of you, so listen up. This idea that we need to improve ourselves constantly is a fallacy. It came from society, it came from our parents, it came from the school system. It was ingrained in us from a young age in the school system. This idea that we constantly need to improve ourselves. When we get a bad grade in school, we're judged on it and they say we need to improve, right? Now, improving is fine in terms of improving on a skill, improving on a technique, improving in mathematics, improving the way you understand things, uh, acquiring knowledge. That's all fine. You can improve on technique. If I want to be a better archer, I need to improve my technique. If I want to be a better public speaker, I can improve my public speaking. But these things are not you. That's where we got it wrong. We lack clarity in this area. And honestly, we've been programmed to believe we're not worthy because there's an agenda behind it. But it's a fallacy. You can't improve yourself because you are life itself. You are complete in yourself. You are enough. How often are we told that we're enough? Not just to say we're enough. No, it's actually the case. It's actually the truth. How can life be reduced to one particular thing? And then we identify with that and then say we're not good enough. This belief that we're always not good enough and we always have to chase things is simply a belief. It's a false belief that we've been collecting or we've been carrying in our collective conscious for such a long time. It's actually pretty subtle. You can get a bad grade, you can get a good grade. But these don't tie to your self-worth because your self-worth is infinite. Because life is infinite. You can't be reduced to these small petty things. And we're always constantly learning anyway in this physical body, in this three-dimensional realm. We're always learning, failing, improving when it comes to tasks and responsibilities and techniques. If I'm a martial artist, at one stage I wasn't good and then I learned the technique, how to kick, how to punch. Then I become better. So what? What if I don't want to be a martial artist? Will my self-worth be tied to that? All of this is an illusion. We're chasing an illusion. A lot of us don't even know who we are. And we're running around letting this ghost of self-image define us and haunt us, literally like a ghost. It chases us. So we've been programmed to believe we're not good enough from a young age, and so we go around chasing validation from people, from other people that also believe they're not good enough. You see how twisted it gets?
It's a complete lie. You can be not good at something and then learn and be better. Or maybe you're just not good at that thing, but you're good at something else. People may laugh at you because you're not good at hockey, but you can smash them in chess. Or you can smash them in table tennis or soccer. Or you can read faster than them. I'm just naming random examples. It's completely arbitrary. You can learn any technique, you can become good at anything you choose to if you put the time and dedication, but that doesn't define who you are. We need to change the way we approach life, the way we understand life. We don't need self-improvement in terms of who we are, we just need to realize what we are. As life, as the essence of life itself. How can the essence of life itself be improved? What's the, what is the one constant in our lives? All these things come and go. Our body changes. The contents of our experiences. Uh, the contents of our experience, emotions, thoughts. Always coming, going. People coming, going. Uh, the scene is constantly changing. This microphone in my background, I'm here, I'm sitting down, I'm here. But in a moment's time, this scene will change and I'll be somewhere else. I might be riding my bike or I might be asleep in my bed. The contents of our experience are always changing, but what's the one constant? Is the awareness. Has there ever been a time where you haven't experienced being aware? No matter what condition you're in. No matter if you're sober, if you're on drugs, if you're asleep, you're always aware. Because when you're not aware, you're not aware to know that you're not aware. You get what I'm saying? So even when you think, oh, I'm asleep, so I'm not aware. No, you only know Knowing, you only know being aware. Or in another way I can put it, has there ever been a time where just this simple experience of life has been discontinued? Like there's been a discontinuation of awareness, being aware of stuff, something, contents of your experience. I'm aware now, even if I fell asleep, I may be aware of dreaming, or if I don't seem to be aware in the time that I'm sleeping, when I wake up, it doesn't feel like a discontinuation, it just feels like awareness, you've never experienced not being aware, it's like sleep is like kind of like death, in death, You can say, oh, but I, I won't be aware in death. But you're not there, quote unquote, to confirm that. So all you know is life. All you know is awareness, life. You understand how life is eternal? There's no discontinuation. You're always aware. Validate this in your own experience. So that is what you are. You are the awareness. You are life. You are essence. You are complete. You are enough. Life is enough unto itself. It doesn't need an outside agent to come and monitor it and tell it and overrule it and put conditions on it. You are already enough. We don't have to put conditions on ourselves in terms of our essence our spirit, life. We are complete. Life is full and complete and infinite. We need to have clarity of this. As you become more present, 
and you don't get entangled in the contents of your experience, a realization happens. A clarity happens or is revealed. No matter what you do, even if you know, you're trying to improve yourself and you get this car and job and this and that. Okay, what's the actual literal thing that's happening? The same thing that's happening now. You will just be there aware of it. Whether you're experiencing joy, pain, whatever emotions, fear, you're just there experiencing it. Awareness is like the background to a movie or like the screen to a movie. The movie, the scenes in the movie are always changing. But the screen remains the same. Unaffected by the contents of experience. That is who you are. You are like the screen of a movie. You are light. You are the you are the awareness. We get so entangled in our experience and become depressed and overwhelmed. A lot of the time unnecessarily because we haven't realized what we are because we're always chasing, running on a treadmill, trying to go somewhere because we feel this existential angst that we're not good enough, that we always need to do more, chase more. Once again, you can do as much as you want, but it doesn't define who you are. It doesn't tie to who you are. Don't tie that to who you are. That's where we go wrong. And so we suffer an endless chase of validation from others. Status, fame, money. In an attempt to feel complete when we already are complete. Do you see the insanity of it? Because everybody else is chasing and running around and reinforcing the idea that we're not good enough, they're not good enough, I'm not good enough. No one is consciously saying this. It's unconscious, it's subconscious. You can just see a lot of people outside, they just, they don't feel just comfortable in their naked, raw experience of life because they've been programmed to think that they're not good enough. Even I've been programmed when I was young. Our parents instill fear in us most of the time and tell us we need to be this and we need to be this and we need to do this. When we can do whatever we want, it just has to stem from love and you'll be fine. You can do whatever you want. It's a complete play in this existence of life. Even when you get, even when you get the thing that you want, it'll, once again, it'll just be you there to experience that. That constant never changes. The screen to the movie, you can't add to it or take away from it. It's just there. It's completely unaffected by the contents. Just like we can be unaffected by the contents of our experience. We can still feel everything. Yes, we will. Still be completely involved and immersed in life. Yes, we are. But realize and know who you are. Have conviction in who you are so you don't get entangled in the movie. When we're watching a movie, we become so entangled in the movie, so invested that 
Ah, we get scared. We forget that it's just images on a screen. Nothing can actually hurt you. So, once again, you can improve on things. You can improve your technique. But you can't improve who you are. You can only realize who you are. Let me check my laptop to see if there's anything that I haven't covered. So I mentioned our schools. Our schools very subtly make us feel like if we don't behave, if we don't get good grades, that that is a reflection of who we are. Corporate world also reinforces this idea when they're always selling us stuff. This madness of consumerism, there's an agenda behind it. They want you to feel unworthy so that you can endlessly spend on things that you don't need to fill the void of your lack of joy, your lack of feeling fulfilled, feeling complete, feeling whole. So they program us to make us feel like we're not whole so that you burn a hole in your pocket in an attempt to make yourself feel whole by all this excessive spending. Spending is natural. Buying things is natural. I bought new shoes the other day. But spending out of grief, out of a feeling of unworthiness, that's a completely different thing. Just like binge eating, just like binge watching, addictions. All of these things stem from the idea that we don't feel worthy, we don't feel complete because we haven't been told that we are complete because that ruins the game. No more chasing, no more validation, no more playing the game. If you want to exit the game, here it is. You can exit the game whenever you want. So, as once again, the contents of experience, everything is appearing in you, but you are the essence which houses everything. You are life. You can be directly conscious of this. If your mind becomes still, quiet enough, if you become present enough, you can even directly become conscious of this, of how everything is one and how you are the awareness, not the contents of the experience. Because how can you, how can you be something that appears and disappears? Only in still waters can you see your true face. Be still. And there you are. This feeling of anxiety, this constant worrying, paranoia, it's not natural. You think people in the jungle, Amazon jungle, feel like that, suffering things that have not happened yet, suffering their imagination, suffering the future, the idea of the future, the, the past, suffering their self-image that they carry in their head of this is who I am, these are my beliefs, this is how I see myself, this is how I present myself to the world, that's what we do on social media, 
were completely backwards and pretty sick, if you ask me. We only present the best sides of us because it reinforces our image. And so we carry this image saying, hey, look at me, this is my image, yeah? Validate me, validate me. Praise me, praise me, praise me. This is my image. This is who I am. Instead of just being, be relaxed and just be who you are. It feels better, trust me, when you let everything go because you can, because you are not those things anyway. You can let go of all of these attachments to, to self-worth, to your image, how you want people to perceive you. When will we learn? I don't know. You wonder why there's so much anxiety and fear in the world. It's because of this. Everybody feels like they're not good enough. Not everybody, but most people. Due to this programming. So, I'll say it again. You are good enough. In fact, you're you are complete. You are life itself. What more do you want? You want to be more than life? This is the gift from God. You are God. Everything is God. God isn't separate from anything. God is the essence of life. God is life. And you are that. So don't worry. Don't stress. You can still improve, as I said, on whatever you want, your technique. You can improve your effort in things, improve your efficiency in things. You can do whatever you want. But it doesn't touch who you are. Who you really are remains untouched by the dramas of life by your ideas, by your beliefs. Stay aware. Peace, love, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.